Hello everybody and welcome back to my Country Sparkles channel. I'm Rachel and today I want to talk to you about the difference between dehydrated food and freeze dried food. As somebody who has a freeze dryer, I am asked all the time what the difference is and how it preserves better, what I like better about it, stuff like that. So today, hopefully I will um, answer some of your questions and then you'll be better informed. So for this video, I'm going to be comparing hash browns. Now hash browns in the freeze dried world versus the dehydrated world. They're pretty similar. So I, if I start with this because it's got a similar basis, it doesn't change too much between it, but yet you can still tell the difference. I'm also going to reconstitute both of them so that way you can see the uh, difference in the texture wise after they have both been um, rehydrated. Okay, so let's start with what you are probably used to store bought dehydrated hash browns. So these are from the store. I'm pretty sure they have um, butter and salt, maybe even some pepper mixed in with here and some onion flavoring. So this is probably what you're used to seeing in your home, all family functions, anytime you have a big breakfast meal. So store bought, bought hash browns, just like that. They're firm, crunchy, they break easily. And to rehydrate them, you cover them with water. You let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then you dump out the water that's left and fry them up in a frying pan. So here we have, this is our home dehydrated hash browns. And these are our freeze dried hash browns. So dehydrated hash browns, they are very hard. Crunchy, mine are uh, long individual sticks. I shredded these when they were raw and then I blanched them to keep the color um, in pieces like this where they got a little bit brown. Those did not get blanched enough. They're still fine, they just kind of get a purpley brown color on the outside if not blanched well enough. But the rest of these look pretty great. Oh, I saw one in there and I've kept the skins on them. So that's what they look like firm. To reconstitute these, I pour water over top of them, let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, pour out the water, pour the extra water off of them, and then fry them up in a frying pan. And now, freeze dried. Freeze dried hash browns. These are very light and fluffy. They don't have any crunch to them. They can be easily broken. You can't even like really hear it. Barely. Um, they are more like fluff, or almost like pressed powder, is how I guess I could describe them. But they're very light. They're much lighter than the dehydrated ones. You think that they'd be about the same, but they actually feel quite a bit lighter. Actually, they might they might weigh the same, but they just might be less or more in here than in here. <laughs> so when Freeze drying things compared to dehydrating things. Freeze dry things keep their shape. This is exactly the shape that it was when I put it in there. When the moisture is pulled out of them because they are already frozen, they're frozen into their original shape and the moisture is just pulled out of them from there. So it is stuck in the shape as when I put it in. Dehydrated food on the other hand shrinks and shrivels up as the water is taken out through heat. So uh, if you can tell that those are super skinny, they are like pretty much flat, flat like paper, where the freeze dried ones are much thicker. Let's see if I can, can you, yeah, you can't really tell, but you have to trust me, thicker, paper thin almost. Um, so that's the difference. These don't hold their shape, freeze dried stuff do. Um, freeze dry stuff is very light and airy because all the water holes have pretty much been filled with air. Where this, the water's been sucked out of dehydrated food. Um, for reconstituting freeze dried food or hash browns, I will just add a little bit of water at a time, um, especially for these hash browns, and I'll mix it up until all the water has been absorbed. And I'll add a little bit at a time to make sure they don't get too mushy. If you add too much water and let them sit, like you do with this, with the dehydrated stuff and you can't really pour the water off, it'll absorb all the water and then become more of like a mashed potato or even if you had 
so much water like a mushy soup like a potato soup and then that you can add vegetables or anything you like so they're very diverse in how you can use them um, but you have to be careful about how you add the water in order to preserve the integrity of the food so you don't change what food you're actually trying to make so those are the two differences in dehydrated and freeze-dried hash browns. Um, other foods are different. Each food reconstitutes differently, like peas, um, freeze-dried peas. I can put them in, sub submerge them in water and just let them sit there and they'll reconstitute. They won't really change consistency, at least not within a few days. Like if you wanna make um, split pea soup or something like that, then you can put them in an instant pot in boiling water for a while and then make like a split pea soup type of thing but peas are harder and they're more dense originally already so um, they will keep they won't break down and dissolve like things like hash browns will so there's the two differences i will pour water over them now and show you how to do that let me grab a fork So just like with the store bought hash browns, my home dehydrated hash browns, I'm just gonna cover them with water. And you can't really have too much water in it because once they're done sitting for, for their time, then you just pour out the extra and it's fine. And now the freeze dried hash browns, I'm just gonna add some water at a time. Not completely submerged. I don't want too much in there. And then I'll just mix them around. This is hot water from my um, faucet and you can use boiling water from um, a pan or anything um, the hotter the water water the better for reconstituting freeze-dried food because it just um, is faster but if you use cold water that's also acceptable you just have to let it sit longer so if this water were cold it would just take a little bit longer to absorb and to uh, reconstitute the food so I'm just mixing in all that water see there's a little bit extra at the bottom still keep mixing it around, which probably means I have enough water in here. And so since there's a little bit extra, but it looks like they're sucking up all the water it's going to right now, I'm just gonna let it sit there and finish absorbing that water. So that is what they look like, being as they're in the middle of their reconstitution process. For freeze drying these hash browns, I just shredded them up, raw potatoes, and then I threw them in a pot of boiling water to blanch for just a minute to help preserve their color. As you can tell, one of my blanching blanches did not, I did not blanch it long enough, and so it changed into a gray purpley color, which they're still fine to eat. It's just more of a purple potato instead of a normal white russet potato, which is what I have here. Same thing with dehydrating. I shredded up the potatoes and then I blanched them, the raw potatoes, and then I blanched them for a minute and put them in the dehydrator to dehydrate. And so we're just letting these sit uh, for just a little bit. Here's what the hash browns look like after they've been reconstituted and have had water added to them. I've drained off the water of the two dehydrated um, potatoes and the water just got absorbed into the freeze dried ones. These are the store bought dehydrated potatoes. These are my home dehydrated potatoes and these are my freeze dried potatoes. They all have a really similar consistency throughout it. The best way to eat these would be to keep them in this pan, add a little bit of oil, fry them up um, to make them all warm inside. But any of these can really be eaten cold. You just can add cold water to them. If there's an emergency or something like that, let them sit. Um, warm water, they reconstitute faster. Cold water takes a lot more time and you can just eat them when they're ready. In an emergency, one of the really nice things about freeze-dried food is that you can just add a little bit of water at a time so you're not wasting water by like submerging it in the water and then dumping out the excess because in an emergency, you're gonna have to drink the excess because water's valuable. So um, just adding a little bit at a time and you see it reconstitute as it's going because it just sucks up that water pretty immediately depending on the food for sure, but overall, in general, it sucks it up right away. And the dehydrated foods, you have to really let it sit in there for a long time, and you can add a little bit at a time to reduce the waste, but that will definitely take a lot longer and a lot more um, 
attention to your food to make sure it turns out right. Another really nice thing about uh, freeze-dried food compared to the dehydrated food, the dehydrated food, it's so hard and crunchy. You don't want to really eat those raw. It's like eating raw spaghetti is kind of the texture it is because there's absolutely no moisture in it and it's shrinked down to a hard, um, thin, paper-thin size. Whereas the freeze-dried food is nice and fluffy and you can just um, eat that raw. You don't have to reconstitute it in order to eat it. You can just eat it as a snack or as a meal and then drink water as needed to make sure you stay dehydrated because it will just absorb the water that's already in your system. So um, in an emergency, that's awesome that you can just take a bag and go and to be set, you have your meals on hand. Um, let me, I'll go grab some uh, dehydrated compared to freeze-dried food. Uh, without it reconstituted real fast to show you that again. Okay, here they are again. See how those are? So it's just like noodles, like you eat noodles. And this is nice and soft and fluffy. It's not gonna hurt your teeth by chewing that or anything. Just like, it's really hard. It's like thick cotton candy. It's really hard to describe uh, the texture of freeze-dried food. But there they are side by side and we eat raw, um, freeze-dried food all the time so it is just fine you just want to drink extra water with it because otherwise you will get dehydrated and as you get thirsty you actually tend to eat more because your body's like oh I'm still I'm thirsty but your brain sometimes registers that as hungry so you'll eat more food when you're thirsty instead of drinking water so you definitely want to make sure you drink enough water when eating freeze-dried food there you have it, you guys, your comparison for freeze-dried hash browns compared to dehydrated hash browns and my thoughts on them. If you have any other questions, um, please put them below and I will for sure answer them as best as I can. This is all just from my experience and what I know and what I've learned over the last few years of dehydrating and freeze-drying food. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe down below and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.